So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple frequency table and using IBM SPSS. And uh, what you can see here is that I already have SPSS open and I've already loaded my data here. So you can see the output window here, here on the left. Uh, and then you can see the data window over here on the right. And this data right here happens to be from the New Jersey Department of Education. And it shows uh, each, it has uh, a different observation or a different row for each school, uh, public school that was open in the state of New Jersey during the 2017-18 academic year. And so let's say that we wanted to make a table that showed, um, that had all of the districts as one row, and then the columns showed how many schools were in each district. So one way to do that, if we had to do this by hand, would be to go to the data, sort it like we already have it here in alphabetical order, for instance, and say, okay, this here's a district, there are two schools in this district, and then you could go and you could type this district name, and then you would put two beside that, and then you would have to count, okay, well, how many schools in this district? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven districts in this, um, in, sorry, eleven schools in this district, and so then you could add that to the table. But what we can do is we can use SPSS to just do all of that for us. And so we can do that uh, in a couple of ways. So the, the we'll do that with the the menus. We'll navigate to making a table that way. And so you can navigate to where we need to be there, either by starting from the data window or starting from the output window. And it doesn't really matter. You'll start with uh, the Analyze tab here, and then you'll go down to Descriptive Statistics, and then to Frequencies. And to show you how you can do the same thing over here from the output window, you can click Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, then we go to Frequencies. And then this window pops up right here. And so over here, we have a list of all the variables that are in our data set that we could use to create a frequency table. And so um, in this example, like I mentioned, what we want to do is we want to make a table where each row represents one district, and then it shows how many schools are in that district, just like we kind of walked through in, in my uh, introduction over here. So to select the variables that we want to use to build our frequency table, we have to find it from this list. Now in our case, we can see right here that district name is the variable that we want because it's the same as what's over here. And to add that to our list, we can either just drag it over and let it go. And if you want to get rid of it, you can just drag it back over and it'll put it back where it was. Or you can highlight it by clicking it and then click this arrow to toggle it in and out of the list. So at that point, all you have to do then is just click OK, and then SPSS is going to work for a second, and then create our table. So you can see that now we have each row represents a different district. OK, and then each column starts, uh, we'll start over here. So, rep, so with frequency, so this is the number of uh, schools in this case, so it's the number of observations that have this value. So like over here, we counted two district, or sorry, two schools for this district, and we'll see there's two right here in the frequency column. So that's what, the same thing that we found. Down here, this next district here, where we counted that there were 11 of them, we can find them over here in this row and see that that occurred 11 times. So you can see how this frequency table uh, was built really efficiently for us by the software. So moving over here further to the right in terms of columns. So percent rep means that the uh, represents the percentage of total observations that are accounted for by this row. So in this case, this means that two schools represent 0.1% uh, of all of the public schools in New Jersey in 2017-18. Or we could go down here and say 11 schools represent 0.4% of all of, uh, of that population. Um, in our case, all of our observations uh, have a value uh, for the variable district name, which means that we don't have any missing data. And so percent and valid percent are going to be the same. But if you're ever looking at something where there, uh, where there is missing data, then these numbers are going to be different. Cumulative percent uh, is not something that is really interesting for our purpose right here, uh, but in some applications or some for some questions it might be. So what this shows is the total percentage uh, of the data that's accounted for by this row plus all of the rows before it. So going down here, say, to this district, and we go across, 
So what this means is that this uh, number of schools plus all of these other number of schools that come before it collectively account for 1.3% of the schools in the public schools in the state of New Jersey in the 2017-18 school year. And so uh, the last thing to look at here is right here at the top, there's this other table where it says valid and missing. So this tells us when there uh, are missing observations or missing values, and that this tells us that there are 2,519. So um, this means that all 2,519 observations in our data have uh, a value for the variable district name, which we'd already talked about down here. You can also see some of this information down here at the bottom for total, where it says 2,519, which again is the number of observations um, in our data set because there's nothing missing. And so that's how we create a simple frequency table.